What's up everybody? How you guys doing out there? I am Shaney Barnett out of Chicago and for those that have seen some of the videos I do with John, we're either talking music or I'm trying to motivate you guys and right now it's all about motivation. So I have some notes that I took so if you see me looking down it's because I want to make sure I drop the right knowledge to you guys. Right now with this pandemic we are dealing with the unknown and you know what? We realize we have no choice. We need to move forward in our lives and we need to figure things out. And the way to survive right now is to change with the times. Now, if you're like me, you hate change. I mean, Facebook changes and I hate it. Just the little things I hate that change. My credit card company sends me a new credit card and now I gotta memorize the last four numbers of that and it's change. I hate change. But we realize that we need to change to survive. So we all need to take a deep breath and we need to know how to handle the situations that are in. I'm gonna talk about three things with you guys right now. We're gonna get the bad one out of the way. We're gonna talk about negativity, we're gonna talk about happiness, and we're gonna talk about patience. So the first thing is negativity. We never wanna hear that word, we don't wanna be around it. So how do we get it out of our lives? First away, we need to get away from the ne negativity. And the worst thing that a human can do to another human is bring negativity to them. We hate it. Life is too big and time is too short. So we can't get caught up in that empty drama that comes with that negativity. Whatever brings you down, get rid of it. When I say whatever, I also mean whoever brings you down, get rid of that. Get rid of that person. You don't need negative stuff in your life. Cut out, cut them, them out. If they don't make you feel good, why do you need them there? Negativity brings so much drama and dead weight and we just need to get rid of it. So you know what you need to do? You need to bring people around you who make you feel good. And when I say they make you feel good, I mean they make you feel safe. Think about that for a second. I want you to bring people around you who make you feel good. And by good, I mean safe. What does that mean? Safe means these are the type of people who respect you. Not only do they respect you when they're talking to you and they're in front of you or having a conversation. I mean, a lot of us aren't face to face right now. But when you're not around, they respect you. Those are the type of people that will always make you feel safe and you know they have your back. Who's in your circle? Think about it. If these people are always negative and always saying bad stuff, think about if they're saying bad stuff about you and you're not around. Change your circle, it's okay, change it. Bring some people in that make you feel safe. That's how you separate yourself from everybody else. Because you do that, you're gonna elevate yourself. Yes or yes? I hope you said yes to that. All right, the second thing I wanna talk about with you guys is happiness. Who doesn't wanna be happy? I know I wanna be happy right now. Not so happy, okay? So the way to be happy, first of all, be your number one fan. Who's gonna be there for you? You're always gonna be there for you. Be your number one fan. How do you be your number one fan? First of all, I know a lot of people laugh about, about this. I don't do it, but I might start doing it. I know when people post like on Facebook or on Instagram or any type of social media, you always kind of chuckle at the person who always likes their own post. Or maybe they're the first one to like their own post, so when you see it, there's only one person that liked it and it's themselves. <laughs> Who cares? They're their number one fan. I am all for that. Support yourself. Be your number one fan. Don't compare yourself to anyone else, okay? You don't know what their whole story is. You don't know what's, what's happened or what they went through or how they got something or how they didn't get something. Don't worry about those people. Worry about yourself and love yourself. Hit that like button. Hit that love button on your own post. It's okay. But to be happy, you have to be your number one fan and you have to love yourself. Stop trying to impress anyone else. Why are you trying to impress them? Especially why are you trying to impress the people you don't even like? Think about that. We know there's people out there that are always out to impress others and they're impressing others that they don't even like to be around. What, what's the outcome? Why are you doing that? What's the end game? Don't worry about them. 
Do something that makes you happy. Be your number one fan when you do that. Happiness should be your ambition. Happiness is how you win. If you're happy and people see you happy, they're gonna be like, wow, that person's happy, they're winning. Win, all right? We need happiness. Get out the negativity and let's get happy, all right? The next thing I wanna talk about is patience. This is the big thing for everybody. Patience is what's gonna get you through everything. Now, not to knock the younger generation, but and it's nothing against them, it's, it's how they grew up and the things that are happening nowadays, but the younger generation wants everything now. They want it right now, it's gotta happen right now, why isn't this happening right now, I'm doing what I'm supposed to doing, happen now, 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 now. And guess what, you have to put in the work. Okay, people, put in that work. And how do you put in that work? You gotta have patience. You gotta have patience to put in that work. You know, if you want to be great at something, you got to put in the work, but it's going to take time. I mean, think about some of the greats in, in sports, okay? Michael Jordan is my goat. I know he's not some of the other people's goat, but Michael Jordan had to put in the work. He was terrible in high school. He got cut in high school. He put in that work. If anybody watched The Last Dance or even know his history or anything, he was always putting in the work. He was always practicing. He was always working out. He was always doing the extra things he needs to do. But it's patience. You got to put in that work. You got to do what you're supposed to be doing. Do you have the patience? If you don't, you got to practice it. Okay, you gotta do whatever it takes to get where you want to go. There's no excuses. It's not gonna be easy. It's not. But once you get to the top, trust me, you're gonna be happier than you were before and you could high five your number one fan, which is yourself, so you could give yourself a high five. Okay, but it's not gonna happen overnight, people. It's not. Things that happen overnight to, to others, I don't know about that. That's a little suspect for me, but we're not here to talk about that. We're here to talk about patience and what you can do. So let me also tell you, like I brought up Michael Jordan. I'm also gonna bring up Prince to you guys. I don't know if you guys know about Prince. Well, a lot of you know about Prince, but I don't know if you know the backstory of how he started. Prince didn't have any money. Prince knew he wanted to make music. Prince knew he wanted to cut an album. Well, a lot of us know that takes a lot of money. What did Prince do? He got a job as a janitor at the studio where he wanted to cut the album. So what did he do? He worked as a janitor so he could get studio time to make the music and make the album. He put in the time, he was patient, he did what he had to do. Do you think he wanted to be a janitor? No, he didn't want to be a janitor. But he didn't care what other people think. He did what made him happy and that was music and he did whatever it took to get to where he wanted to be. Okay, so put in the work, people, all right? But you gotta be patient about it and you will have positive results with that. You gotta trust the process. Do you understand that? I hope you guys understand that. So those are my three things for you guys and I'm gonna end with this, okay? You either can do it now or you can stop the video and do it later. It's totally up to you. But I want you guys to pick up your phone. If your phone's by you, you can even do this now while I'm talking. So pick up your phone and I want you to scroll through your contacts in your address book. Scroll through it, start it from the beginning or start it from the end, however is easiest for you to scroll up and scroll down. And I want you to stop on every name that makes you feel safe. Remember what I told you about people that make you feel safe? Hopefully you have a lot in your contact list. And every person in your contact list that makes you feel safe I want you to text them. You could say whatever you want to say, or you could just say, hey man, I miss you. I'm just checking in. Let's connect soon. And set up a time that you either text or you FaceTime or you know you actually call somebody and set up the time and just talk to that person because those are the people that make you happy. Those are the people that make you safe. Those are the people you want to be around. All right? So do that please in the next couple days send me a message you know on my instagram my facebook my snapchat however you guys know to contact me because i want to know if you did this and if it worked for you and hopefully during all this craziness she'll make some changes and you guys will start feeling happy and you'll be your number one fan and you'll get that negativity out and you'll have some patience 
All right, I will talk to you guys soon. This is Shaney Barnett. I'll see you guys next time.